Hey cellmates, welcome to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. What's up, cellies? <laughs> We're back with another video. I could not wait until we record another video so I couldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back with another video today we are going to give the mic to cortez Huli, whatever he wants y'all to call him yeah. so he could tell y'all about his experience <laughs> with uh getting his port all right i'm gonna start off with the recovery process it's trash. I'm about to say, how you gonna go, you gonna go yeah, straight like, to recovery? Because, like, well, that, that was a horrible day when I got it. Because when I went, I was supposed to be the, I was supposed to get it done probably, like, around a 12. I didn't get it done till like, 2 or 3. Because they had an emergency, so I got moved back. Yeah. And then, I, I, I told you about that day, right? And then, like, once I went home, I was thinking, like, okay, I was cool. So, I got on the game. Thinking that I was good, not oh, thinking you're that after your gonna, surgery. Yeah, not thinking that it was gonna hurt. And then mid They put something inside your chest. Yeah, but you know you on that medicine. No. Mm -mm. I mean, but I was like, okay, I'm good. I don't feel nothing. Okay. Hopping on the game with around. I'm like, okay. We could play. We get halfway through something. I was like, yeah, bro, I'm getting off. I gotta click. <laughs> and then the worst part about the recovery is getting up because like it's right here in your chest, so you gotta it hurts when you move like this right here. Mm. And it was very hard to get out of the bed. You know, my bed low, so I pretty much had to. Limbo? Yeah. And then <laughs> sit up super fast. <laughs> so it wouldn't hurt that bad. It's but crazy. people say it's the best thing. It's better, but I'm stuck in that middle line where, like, I wouldn't mind still getting stick because, like, you still getting stick anyway, but it's just guaranteed for the most part. That way I ain't getting it. Yeah. And <laughs> What's the point? Am I'm I? glad that I got it now than um when I was younger because yeah, I would have I would have hurt myself. With it in there? Yeah. I would either break it because Did I fell. I don't think I, I ain't never seen a little kid yeah, with a no port. I don't think I've never seen a little kid with a port, but like yeah, I would have pretty much tore this part up if I had it around 19 or 20. Did you see it before they put it in? Yeah. Well, how big is it? It's probably about this big, yeah. About this big, yeah. And then it's a thing on this side, this side, and this little divider in the middle. Then it's metal all around. Not like, you know, like... Then it's like this tube. You can literally feel the tube, like, right here going in the thing. It's weird. So, wait, where they stick you, where they stick you? Like, right here. Like you can and so the tube it. as well, hook up to your, one of your vein or something? Yeah, you can feel it like running up like right here. And then you can feel the actual part right here. Yeah, I ain't getting that. Yeah. And the lady told me, you won't be able to see it because you, you, you got, you kind of, she called me fat, but she said it in a nice way. She was like, um, you kind of, you kind of, you kind of chunky. You know, she was like, you kind of big, so they, they ain't going to see it. She lied. You can see this crap if I take my shirt off. Like the print? Yeah, like you can see the print underneath my skin if you if I take my shirt off. Mm. Mm. Like it's not blatant, but you'll be like, yeah, you could tell when chest, people got for you'd be like a chest ain't supposed to look like that. You can tell when people got them. <laughs> yeah, you can see the scar too. Mm -hmm. Where they get them at? Mm. People be at the doctors be asking me, you got a boy? Nope, I ain't getting none. Yeah, and then like you better listen to what I say and go to this arm. <laughs> Don't all that. I see a vein right here. Let me try this vein. I told you the cuff. Come to the cup. <laughs> not getting no port. But yeah, um, I'd just be like cautious with who I let access it. Like, and then I, there's certain people who I who I don't like access it when I go to the thing because like they be trying to hold conversations. I won't be trying to access it with no light. I'd be like, bro, I'm already black, and you go not cut the lights on so you can see. Wait, well, nah. Why? Well, why are you in the dark anyway? Cause like, not like super dark, but like. You should I have know the lights mean, on. Yeah. yeah, you should have the lights on. But like it's, cause like they cut the lights off of people. Like, who's it? how they say this? Mm -hmm. Because like how Faris's is like it's like they got the room section off, right? And then like certain rooms still have the lights on because they still be working on those people. And then once they're done, they just cut the lights oh, off. Oh, to see who they gotta go yeah. to. Oh, I got you. But y'all niggas in the dark. <laughs> 
need a better system than that. Yeah, and I was like, hey, uh-uh. And then one woman, she she trying to flirt while I'm like, yo, I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't like all that talking either. Why are you doing like, stuff? Yo, just shut just, up and do it. Just focus on this thing, man. Just, Ooh, just I like your hair or something like. Yeah, be like, just, just, just get this blood and get out my face, lady. Just stab this thing in my chest and both of these sides so we can go. You gotta do it in both sides. Yeah, one for the access and one for the return. Basically, they're taking away your body parts and giving you fake stuff. So when you when you have you ever thought about that with sickle cell? Yeah. Like the replacements that we be getting <laughs> over time yeah. and stuff. Like we become a, we become mm -hmm. robots basically. Yeah, we got a, well. I got a joke running in our friend group that I'm I'm gonna become Iron Man soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> they be replaced and stuff. I ain't got so far. I ain't got nothing replaced. And yeah, I'm just gonna have the if if, to if it's on. a choice between surgery and pain, that's what I'm choosing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, because uh, 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 Danielle was telling me that if she had to do it all over again, she wouldn't get the surgery. Oh, what surgery? The, um, like the replacements when she got her hip replaced. I think she's she in her hip and her knees. Yeah, because our hips, the, um, oh, yeah, these, yeah, the blood bad. die. Yeah, they horrible. The, like I got bone infarcts, the, 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 the blood supply, the blood dies, the, the blood in the bone marrow, I think, mm -hmm. something like that. It stops. It doesn't. There's. It's not getting any blood no more. So of course that's gonna make it. Um, what do you call it? That's gonna make it. I want to say disintegrate because that's kind of. Pretty much, it's gonna break the bone down basically. And then the bone just gonna disappear. Mm -hmm. Then you just won't have nothing right there. And it's also crazy that people walking around with like with no joint. Oh. <laughs> That is a little No crazy. hip bone. But, yeah, I, I want to keep my hips, even though they be hurting a lot. I want to keep them a little bit longer. I don't want no metal hips yet. Yeah. Yeah, when I first got the port thing, I was scared. I was like, yo, and am then, I going to be able to walk through metal detectors? If I got to choose between life and metal hips, uh -huh. I'm going to take me out the game. <laughs> metal hips. I can't imagine that. Metal hips. I wonder if it's just metal. Like, why don't they do another type of material? They probably do. Probably. Mm hmm But, yeah. I won't be getting port surgery. Yeah, the recovery is horrible. I got a good vein. At least you got the one good they one. Better, they better keep going to that vein, like I tell them. Plus, I got more veins that they haven't tried. This one right here, you ain't really good. Donna can do it. Donna always be able to nah, get it. Donna something serious. Yeah, she can do any of them. Yeah, that's how I knew it was time for me to get one. When Donna couldn't get my veins, I'm always like, oh, crap. Yeah, when she can't <laughs> get it, she like, she's the be one of the best in her. I was like, crap. So, it may be time. We just be calling these people names like they know who we talking about. Mm-hmm. But who we cares? know. <laughs> we know. So, basically, the port surgery, what would you recommend it? No. Do you think it makes your life easier with getting phoresis? Yeah, we're getting phoresis. Everything else, no. <laughs> okay. So, if you get phoresis, then maybe you should get the board. Yeah, if your veins suck. If, if your but veins just suck. because you... But like because my... Like because you say if your veins suck. Because if I'm... Because they, yeah. they didn't give it to you. They Whatever. they didn't they recommend it because your veins sucked or they recommended it because what? Yeah, because my veins sucked and it was hard to access me and stuff. For phoresis. Yeah. Because uh, you gonna have to prove to me I got too much veins in my body just for you to be saying they suck. You better put them somewhere else. Legs. We got foot vein in our foot. Legs. <laughs> if you gotta go in my butt, like I just. I don't know. I got too much veins for you to be saying that it's something ain't working. Oh, man. That's funny. But I understand why they do that. Because yeah. don't nobody want to be getting stick 10, 20 times yeah. before you can find a vein. And they be like, um, I guess some people ports move. Mine don't. They be like, um, does yours move? No. It stays still. It was in the same spot <laughs> ever since they put it in. It never moved. I'm like, why people ports be moving? Like, what y'all be doing to get y'all ports to move like that and stuff? 
It's many. Th- I would just think it would move just by you moving. Yeah, I would think that too. But I was like, mm, it ain't moved yet. Too Especially good. if it like yours must be un- attached to something <laughs> and sticking me. Yeah, I'm about to say because there's one spot. It's just in there chilling. It's really just chilling. I can understand it moving though. Mm. I'm glad I ain't got no problems. I'll take my pain any day. I had medicine cooked through it once, going through baristas, and they put some liquid Benadryl in it. And well, I think you get it clean. Get it clean every time I go to baristas. Yeah. So every month. Yep. So you said you ain't got med. How, what do you mean by like, it felt weird? Like, you know, like how you get IV medicine and it. You can actually feel it like going in. Like you actually feels it going <laughs> through you. Like you feel it coming. Like so you feel, you feel it, it even more. Yeah, you feel it coming up there. Then you will feel it like probably like right here. Then you will finally feel it takes effect. And it's like, I'm like bro, it feels already weird. feel like that weird. It I already feel like when they put it in weird. your in your arm, you can kind of feel it going through the veins. Yeah, I'm like yo, it's, it is weird. weird. I don't like. I like people be saying that they don't like the piggyback method, but I like it. What? The piggyback method where they hook the pain medicine and the IV up kind of like to the same line, if I think, if I'm not mistaken. Like, of course, they own different things, but it goes into the same yeah. line and it kind of goes into your body. It's kind of like, it kind of like waters down the, uh, the medicine. So I'm guessing that's why people don't like it. But for me, it works. Like, I still, my medicine still I, takes effect. I still get, I um... It still works for me, basically. It still um, relieves the pain. Um, But also, it's pretty strong. Like, people be saying that, or they don't like piggyback method. But, like, I have been to the point where I felt like I was going to throw up everywhere. I've been to the point where I couldn't walk. I was, like, super dizzy. And they every time they would be like, how you feeling? Like, I would still be in pain. I'd be like, I ain't want that third dose. (laughs) <laughs> Keep that junk. I'm good. I ain't want that junk. Like, want that junk. like I know I'm supposed to get it because I'm in pain and my pain is down a little bit, but it ain't going. But no, thank you. I'm yeah, good. if it gets to the point where I don't. Two want to is eat. my limit. Yeah, if it gets to the point where I don't want to eat, like, yeah, <laughs> I can't. You talk about what do you mean when you don't want like, to eat? Like, you know, like how you take medicine. You and get then, sick. Like, it makes yeah, you so make, sick. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah. You don't wanna... I, I be feeling like that now with my um, I'm delighted. I'll be like, okay, um, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna lay down here. Hopefully, I'll that junk would like people people who like to take medicine on an empty stomach. That junk would eat your mm-hmm. stomach up. It would eat you up. Eat that junk up. Eat all they all the acid going. Nothing gonna be in that stomach. Sure, and even when I be eating, sometimes it don't be enough. Like it still be, I still be getting super nauseous. I'm like, oh, I hate this. This is the part I hate about having to take me is like that nauseous, that nauseous feeling. Yeah, like I be, I be, I use cornstarch for mine to help with my nausea. I use it for like a, like we, like a coat, like a, like a coating for my stomach. It might not be the healthiest thing, but it works most of the time. So that's what I've been doing. Because I'm not about to eat three plates of food. Like, that ain't about to happen. I ain't about to keep eating all day. Because you got to consistently be, you gotta consistently be eating so you won't have... Like, for me, I do. For, for the amount of medicine that I take, I have to consistently be eating so I won't feel nauseous. And, like, I ain't going to do that because I don't have the appetite. My stomach's too small for that. So I use cornstarch instead. For me to consistently eat throughout the day, I gotta have like chips or like something like that. I can't, yeah, it I gotta can't. be snacks, but that yeah. snacks ain't heavy. Yeah. So that's it ain't, that yeah. ain't gonna really work either. You eat, I be eating. I get sometimes I get a bowl of cereal. I eat popcorn. I be eating a lot of stuff sometimes, and it don't work, and it be making me sick because I've ate. I ate so much, and also because of medicine. Yeah, and then you know you got that little bonus on it. So. I hate that junk. That's the worst part mm-hmm. to me. People be acting like taking medicine so easy, and like those people who are who pop like who do it for fun, who pop like, pills for fun. Those people, yeah. What is wrong with you? Y'all the bane of earth, yeah. <laughs> like what's up with y'all? Like what is wrong with y'all? Mm-mm-mm. 
Like, and man. y'all be drinking like alcohol and stuff with it or smoking weed with it. Like, yeah, what is wrong with y'all? Is y'all do y'all not love yourselves? They don't. They belong to the golden. That's. They really I ha I need to take mine and I don't be liking it. Yeah. Let me see. I'm like, do they ever get that like those moments where I be waking up out my sleep because I can't breathe? coughing hard because I, I fell asleep on my back and like when I fall asleep on my back right after taking medicine it's like it be suffocating like I get this suffocating feeling like I, like my like my heart stops or, or something like I can't breathe because it does mess with your breathing if you, especially if you take too much but I be taking my right dose and that's gonna be if I go to sleep on my side I be good but if I go to sleep on my back I be sound like I'm about to die. My brothers don't even come help me see what's going on. They just be sitting in the room. Well, what they they do not be caring. I'm like, dang, I could be in here dying and y'all just wouldn't care. Anyways, no. if y'all have any more questions about his experience <laughs> with his port, um, drop them in the comments and we will do another video so he can answer. Yeah. But thank you for watching this video. We will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Yeah. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. To learn more about us, visit our website at cellmatesapparel.com.